Hi there, welcome to Houston DIY, my name's Ben. In this video, we're gonna check out some cheap NFC smart rings from AliExpress. Okay, so in the previous video, which I'll link up here somewhere to uh, around 2024 being the year of the smart ring. So that's my prediction still. Um, and I went through the story on there around needing, uh, losing my wedding ring, I wanted a new ring, but going to wait for the Samsung smart ring to come out or whatever it'll be called, Galaxy ring maybe. Uh, so a quick video on there, just kind of what the smart ring should be. Um, and I've had to wait a long time and it's weird not having my wedding ring on. So I've been looking at different smart rings and different people out there doing them. We spoke about the Aura ring on the previous video, but I don't want to invest too much money in a ring just because I'm waiting for the Samsung one to come out and I will be getting that one eventually. So what I've done is been on AliExpress, Banggood, all those sites looking at uh, kind of cheaper Chinese rings. Um, and there's a multitude of different NFC rings that you can get um, that have got inbuilt NFC chips that you can just use for like storing contact details on, uh, maybe unlocking doors in terms of smart home control. Basic functions basically you can do with NFC on these. Um, so really simple NFC chips built in which you can get on little key fobs uh, but into, into, a, into a ring. So these rings, I've got three of them. Um, all three are size 11. Um, which equates to a different size uh, UK and US. I kind of had to work out and guess a little bit. Um, but I went for those, and I'll let me just show you on my phone, because I, I do have AliExpress here on the phone, so I'll just show you a little screenshot just to prove what I paid for these. Um, so one second. Okay, so we're on here. I've got AliExpress open here, and I've got my... Um, some items that I purchased. You can see, hopefully, on the phone, I've got the two at the bottom, which were £1.21. So plus postage, I paid £4.69 for two of them, which are these, which I'll get some close-ups of these just to show you them in a minute as well. And then I paid a little bit more for a second one. That was £4.33 for the ring, including shipping, £5.84. That's a slightly different design with like a black, um, I don't know what it is, around the edge. So I've not even tried these out yet. don't even know if they work. Obviously, they've got NFC built in. I don't know if they work, but we'll use my phone to kind of hover over them, maybe load some contact details in just to try them out. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Let me just stop the recording on there. What we're going to do um, is kind of a mini series um, just in preparation for the Samsung smart ring to come. I'm going to look at maybe a slightly more expensive one, an actual more smart ring. It's got a few more features built into it. But I don't want to spend too much. I'm probably going to look around maybe the 35, 40 pound mark. There are some on AliExpress. Um, so I'll find the right one that we can do on the on the video uh, to see what it's like, basically. And so a bit of a mini series building up to hopefully, fingers crossed, getting the uh, Samsung Smart Ring. So let me get a couple of close-ups of these rings and then we'll try them out with the NFC and hopefully they fit. I'm not even trying, I'm not even taking them out of the little packets yet. Um, so it might be a disaster because they might not even fit. Um, so let's give them a go. Okay, so I've opened them up. Um, so they are like a really lightweight metal. Um, so maybe like aluminium? I don't know. They're better than a father bead, to be honest with you, for kind of one pound, one pound 21, and they fit. So they fit, they're probably slightly too big, but I prefer my, it a little bit bigger on my finger, so it goes over that knuckle easier. Uh, but they fit, so that size 11 fits my hand. Not that that's any reference to anyone else, but yeah, they fit. All three, I think, let's check it. Yeah, a little bit loose, it's quite cold at the moment, so my fingers will be a little bit smaller, so yeah, they fit. Um, whether they're scratch resistant, probably not. Um, I have no idea what material they are. They look to have the NFC chips built into these two. You can kind of see in these, I'll get the close-ups and show it and overrun it, but it's kind of chips built in with like some kind of resin over the top of it. Uh, really simple design. That one's a little bit different, it's all covered up. It's got NFC inside of it, it says it on the inside. Um, and it's got like a little Wi-Fi icon on there. So I've absolutely no idea if these will work. So all I'm going to do, I've got the NFC Pro Tools application on my phone. Uh, so again, we'll do, I'll do a screen recording so you can kind of watch along and see what happens. Um, so we'll go with the one that was a little bit more expensive to start with, which is the all in black one. Um, so I'll get that one on the desk. I'm literally, I've not done anything with this. I've read some of the reviews and some of them say they don't work, um, which wouldn't be ideal. So let's give it a go and see what happens. So I'm literally going to go on the read element of the NFC Tools app. And I'm going to go... So 
So, oh, it, oh, it's detected it. Okay. Okay. So it's detected it. I'm no NSC expert, but it said it's writable, so we should be able to write to it. Um, okay. So I'm not sure how I really did that. Let me reopen that. Let's kill NFC tools. Let's go back into NFC tools. So let me just get the ring again. There. Okay. So that was kind of pointing at it with a little icon on the phone. It's read it again. So can I come back out of there? Back in. Oops. Yeah, so it's, it does read it each time. I can feel it vibrating each time. You can see it popping up with NFC tag de detected. So let me close all my applications. Let me reopen it. We'll try one of the other ones now. This doesn't have the uh, logo on it, but it's got little chips built into it. So again, we'll see if it reads it. And these ones, the £1.21 ones, in, I've read some of the reviews and it says it doesn't detect NFC for people. There are some people that say it's not a smart ring, because it, well, it isn't a smart ring, it's just literally NFC. I'm not picking up on that one. Oh, that one's got it. Again, shows that it's writable. I'll try again with that one. I guess if it's only a cheap NFC tag built into it, obviously the, oh no, that one's got it as well. There, so I guess it's where the um, reader is on my phone perhaps. Okay, so no little bit messing around with all three now. All three are working, fine. Um, it's just getting it lined up. So on the inside of my hand there, I've got the, like, where the chip is on the NFC, for the NFC tag. Um, so if I do it in the app, which I'll show, sorry, I'll do a screen recording so you can see that, apologies. So we'll set off a screen recording. So if I just go over it on the inside of my finger there, you can see it's detected it. If I just do it on, not in the application, just on the Android operating system, a little bit of lining up, but again, it, it detects it straight away. So that's that one, what's got the black ring. Got the silver ring with the NFC tag built in. And then if I hover over it in the right place, it says. Okay. Bit temperamental. If I grab it like that, it gets it. So that one wasn't as uh, as quick. And then that one has got the white little symbol on it, the little connectivity connectivity symbol uh, on it there. So hover that over it. It's actually easier on the inside of your hand. There, that's that finds it. So there's obviously a little point on it where the tag's built into the ring. Um, I'll do it again. It does it straight away. So what I'll do now is I'll um, I'll just pause the recording there. We'll write something onto each of the rings um, and see how it detects it on the phone. So probably, I'll probably just write a contact card onto the ring itself. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a go and write to these uh, rings. So I've got the first one. I'm going to write. I don't know. We'll just try. Well, let's give it a go and see what happens. So I'm going to open up NFC tools again. I want to read this one. So I'm just going to hover over it. And we've read it, detected. Okay, so we're going to write to it. So I'm going to go into the application and go to write. Again, I'm no expert on this, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Um, URL, let's do a URL. So we'll go to HewsonDIY.com. So we've got to www.HewsonDIY.com. Oops. Forgot the dot. Okay. So we go right, right error. Let's try again. Right, complete. Okay, so now in theory, let me pop the ring on. I should be able to hover over this and it should go to HewsonDIY.com. It's asked it to go to Chrome. I'll press on Chrome because I've got two browsers. Houston, DIY.com, the internet slot here. 
There we go, straight to using DIY.com. So you can write URLs to it, that's cool. So if you wanna share URL with someone, to your website, business card maybe instead, you can hover over your ring, do that. So next up, I'll get the next ring and we'll go into NFC Pro Tools. So we'll go and get the black ring. I will go to read, make sure it's reading again. Lining that chip up. So I've read it, it's writable. Nothing on there, it says tag is empty. So we'll go to write, I'll go add a record. Let's go to a mail address. Oh, it's, oh, so it sends an email, okay, this is cool. So we'll go to hewsondiy.gmail.com. Uh, hi. From the ring. Okay. So we'll get rid of that one and we'll just write this email to it. Uh, so we'll go write, hover over the ring. I feel like my breath then. Oh, right error. We'll try again. Right error. So it's a 60 bytes for that. So let me just go back to that read. I wonder if there's not enough room on it. Oh no, 137 uh, oops, bytes. So let's try again. We'll go right again, 60 bytes to the tag. Right complete, so it worked. So it's a bit of a trial and error. I don't know if that's normal with, with NFC. I don't really use NFC that much, I'll be honest with you. So if again, if I put the uh, ring on, hover over it, hopefully. And it's wrote an email. So I, I guess there's multiple cases you could use for that if you wanted to quickly <laughs> write an email or, or, or draft an email from there and send. Obviously, away you go. So that's number two. Uh, purpose number two, doing an email, random. So next up, we'll do something else. Okay, so third and final ring, which is just a standard black one. So again, let's go NFC tools, let's hover over it. And it's over the little icon. It's read it straight away. We'll go to right, uh, let's see what else we can do. Um, text record, contact, let's try contact. So let's do Ben, Houston. DIY, phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll go Houston, DIY at gmail.com. I spelled my name wrong, let's go Ben. Okay, so we've got that one in, let's delete the email one. So we've got the contact left in there now. So what we'll do again, so we'll go right, 104 bytes, that one, a bit bigger. Hover over, finding the NFC tag. Oops, right, I've removed that, I think. Let's try that again. Oops, so I need to write. Error, try again. Write complete. So I don't know if two or three times it's taken in it. So let's do that. So we'll, again, put the ring on. We're out of the NFC Tools app, as you can see, hopefully on screen. I'll hover over it. Contacts. It should hopefully add contact in. Ben, 123456. So you could load your contact details onto your ring. If you want to transfer them to someone, standard NFC, hover it over the phone, they can import the, the contact details. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, it's so a really quick video there, just showing off these rings, these NFC enabled rings. So they are labeled as smart rings. They're not smart in the sense they've got anything else other than NFC built in. Um, as you've seen in the video, hopefully, finding that perfect spot can be a little bit tricky for NFC on uh, tags on these tags. I guess it comes down to the type of tag and I guess how much they are, um, I don't know how big the chip is, etc. If it's a powered NFC tag, if you can even get them, I'm not sure. Um, but it's easy to do, we hover over it, find the right spot. If you, and if you know where you're looking for, obviously you can twist the ring to, to kind of show where you need to connect to. Um, and again, these were literally, as you saw, £1.21 each. So obviously not gonna last forever. They're probably gonna scratch. They'll probably break, let's be honest. Um, but as I said at the beginning, I need a wedding ring because it feels weird not wearing one and the Samsung ring isn't out yet. Um, so if you're looking for maybe a little cool little gadget or something to show off or a little gift or something to try out with your kids maybe, we're showing them NFC now and NFC works, pretty cool. Um, or if you want one and you want to share your business card details, that you, so you have to carry business cards, you can hover over someone's phone. I'm not sure, but 
uh, fun, cool, almost a uh, little toy for the price, really. So £1.21, obviously, the black one was a little bit more. I actually prefer the cheaper ones. Um, so they'll probably go in my drawer in the bedroom and I'll just switch between them until I get the uh, Samsung ring, hopefully. So yeah, hopefully that's been an informative video. If you've been looking at smart rings and you're just looking to get into it and you're not sure what's going on, or if you've seen these rings and you've seen the bad reviews, which I have seen on AliExpress, I'll be honest, there are some bad reviews on there saying they don't work. It can be a little bit tricky finding an NSC pad or the beacon, whatever it's called, but it's doable. I've, I've got not, nothing special, no special NFC reader, just my phone, uh, with a case on as well. As well, it's got a case on. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's been informative. If, you, if, you, if it has been informative and you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, if you haven't for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike. Uh, this, again, will be one video of hopefully many in the series we do about, about rings, smart rings in general. Um, I'm going to get, um, I had a quick look on AliExpress just now and there's some Xiaomi ones on there for around £40. So I might get one of them and do a quick review on that, which has got more actual smart stuff built into it. Um, and it's not kind of breaking the bank too much there. Uh, so we'll probably give that a go in a future video. So keep an eye out for that. So if you want to keep an eye out for it, or be alerted to it. If you want to subscribe to Houston DIY, obviously hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to any future videos. Uh, but yeah, drop us a like, drop us any questions you want as well into the comment section, or if you're looking at smart rings or you've seen other smart rings that we should have a look at, again, drop that into the comment section. Um, yeah, hopefully you can join the conversation and we can uh, include it as part of this uh, mini smart ring series. Um, so hopefully, see you in the future video, hit subscribe, hit like, and thanks for watching.